deeply concerning. The idea that you know, some presenters think that they act with impunity and they can get away with these sorts of things, it does call into question the, the, uh, the ethics, the investigations, how long these things take. And the BBC, but also other broadcasters, do need to get a grip because we seem to lurch from one scandal to another and more needs to be done. The timing is important, isn't it? Um, because according to this woman, she, compl she complained to the BBC in May, but the presenter in question then stayed on air for weeks after. I think that's the concerning thing, that someone makes a complaint, a very serious complaint, and then puts on the telly the next night, uh, and they're still there. And that's not good enough. That is not treating people, victims, with respect. And that's why there needs to be a, a full investigation. But, look, I think this goes beyond the BBC. We had uh, stories, of, was it last month, about uh, Philip Schofield. And, you know, there may be more to come. Who knows? But the investigations, but also the standards, need to be reformed and looked at again. What do you mean by that, the standards need to be reformed and looked at again? Well, the investigations need to be much swifter. Uh, action needs to be taken quicker when there are serious complaints like this. But the standards at which uh, presenters operate just need to be much, much higher. No one should be able to get away with this sort of uh, thing and think they can get away with it. And that's clearly what a lot of people seem to think today. Do you think then that because presenters are in the public eye, in some ways they're public figures, that they should be held to a different standard then? Well, I think if anybody did this in any job, whether they're a teacher, a doctor, a television presenter, a politician, it wouldn't be acceptable. But when serious allegations are made like this, I don't think it's right that those people stay in those jobs whilst those very serious investigations uh, go on. Do you think uh, that the individual should be named? We've seen other presenters having to come out to say that it's not them, for example. I I'm not totally sure mm -hmm. um, about that because you can get vexatious complaints. Mm -hmm. But that means there's a greater onus on doing these things quickly. They shouldn't drag on for months and uh, months. Uh, the BBC or whoever the, um, the employer is needs to quickly do these investigations and take the appropriate action. And I'm not convinced so far that that's happened in this case. Do you think there should be a police element to this as well? Um, if you look, for example, at the 1978 Protection for Children Act, it's an offence to make, distribute, possess or show any indecent images of anyone aged under 18. I think this is a question that the investigation needs to uh, get into, but obviously it's deeply concerning, the idea that this was happening when the young person was just 17 years old.